Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna take a look at a brand new Wildwood 26D Bud behind me. But first, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. Whenever you're done watching this video, make sure you check out some of the other videos on the Byerly RV YouTube channel. We do everything from product videos, training videos, fun videos, interviews with industry professionals, and we take you places that you can't get in and all kinds of cool stuff, so check that out. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok now. Check out some of these new TikTok videos we're putting out there'll be one on this it's really really cool um so anyway keep up with all the latest news and videos here at byerly rv watch the monthly update on the first of the month every month you get to meet mike the guy behind the camera and the guy that actually makes all this happen all right so let's take a look at the 26d bud this is one of these travel trailers you guys that is just this is like a bread and butter floor plan man this is one that is just it's replaced we used to have something called a 26 tbss at the time, that was kind of the bread and butter floor plan that we always had a lot of. And this 26D Bud has, this is what it's evolved into now, but this is a very, very common half ton towable um, uh, bunkhouse. I say half ton towable just real quick, because I always kind of forget this. And I want to make sure to start doing this, you guys. I want to tell you what the uh, unloaded vehicle weight of this is. Usually inside the door somewhere on most vehicles. And here it tells me that I have a dry weight of 6,874 pounds. Okay, so um, 6,874 pounds dry plus whatever you're going to put, want to put in. And a lot of half ton trucks nowadays can pull this, right? Um, we, of course, get you set up with things like weight distribution hitches and things like that when you come in. So we'll handle all that. Now, let's talk about the fun stuff on this. We are on what I call the fun side. We'll end up on the business side in a minute. But over here, you can see we have two entry doors, right? I just opened the main door to check the weight. The rear door here, this is going to be right into, oops, this one's locked, it didn't lock it first. This is going to go right into the bathroom, which we'll see when we go inside. And you might say to yourself, why in the world would I need a door that goes right into the bathroom? Well, number one, if you've got, this, this vehicle has one, two, three, four, five separate sleeping areas when it's configured into its maximum sleeping configuration, okay? And if you're gonna have five separate sleeping areas and sleep anywhere from five to 10 people and everybody's gonna be using the facilities, well, we're all outside a lot, right? So instead of everybody having to go and traipse through the whole thing to get in here, we can just go in and out right here, which A, keeps it cleaner on the inside, and B, in the summertime, around here anyway, in St. Louis, Missouri, it gets hot and humid and our air conditioners are literally doing everything they can just to keep the thing cool and we're pulling shades and we're doing everything we can right well every time we open that door we let a whole bunch of cold air out and a whole bunch of hot humid air in and it just makes the air conditioner have to work harder right so you keep the bathroom door closed on the inside and you go in and out this way and it helps the air conditioner work better. So lots of reasons why we do that, right? Um, there's an awning that goes all the way from that door and over across the other door, right? So that gives us this huge entertainment area right here. I've got outside speakers right here. I've got an outlet right here. I've got running water right here, a fridge, and a stove. All this comes with it, you guys. Other things you saw here, there's also things like the furnaces right here, and there's a cable in there. This is actually the fresh water fill for the fresh water tank on board. Um, oh, and one lens, don't wanna miss it. Okay, I always like to talk about the sum of many little things. It's not just one thing that makes a difference, it's a lot of little things. Wildwood, this is a product, guys. I've been at Byerly for 17 years. We've always had Wildwood. We could have replaced it, but we don't need to. Why? Because it's great, and it, they, they keep getting better and better. And so there's a lot of little things that'll make a difference. And like a little thing is the fact that we have the exhaust over the stove, exhaust to the outside. I say that because there's other products in its price point where they just recycle. It doesn't actually exhaust to the outside. It's a little thing, but it's the sum of many of those little things that makes a difference, right? Things like the nicer step, the larger grab handle, large, large storage doors on this. We've got the other side that you need is smaller, but this said we need a big door, right? So I can get bigger items in and out. Um, this vehicle actually comes with the jacks and the little cranks and things that we need for things like our tongue jack if it fails. There's a special tool in there for these really, really cool. I probably should have put these down, forgive me, but this has something called JT Strong Arms on the stabilizer jacks, okay? So four stabilizer jacks, regular scissor jacks, that's what most campers have, right? This has 
a feature that is currently standard equipment. I say it that way because I can change it any time. In other words, once they run out of JT strong arms, they probably won't be on here anymore. But right now, currently, they're coming with these. And what that does is that gives each one of these jacks another attachment point to the frame. And it's actually opposite of the way the other attachment points are. So it really, really, it's, a, it's actually one of the best aftermarket stability things out there. And it used to be really expensive because you had to pay just as much to put it on as it was to get it. But it's coming standard on these Wildwoods, at least for now, which is cool. And this is kind of cool, dry erase surface, you know? And they're like, okay, you know what? We can write on this with a dry erase marker, so let's tell people that. <laughs> anyway, um, around front, space for batteries. That's something we provide here at Byerly. You know, when you do buy this thing, we will fill the bottles, put a battery on board, and train you on how to use everything. Nice power tongue jack up front. I've got two, uh, Always check, folks. 20 pound bottles, see why we always check? <laughs> Which are cool, actually, because those are a lot easier to, if we wanted to exchange them and get them refilled, actually, it's pretty easy. This is the other side of our storage compartment. It's still nice and wide, you know, because if you can't fit something in there, it doesn't matter how big a storage compartment is if it doesn't fit through the door, right? Now, along the business side here, I call it the business side because this is always the side that has your electric hookups and your water hookups and things like that. So back here, we use a little adapter, plug into an extension cord. We've got our tank dumps right here, so I can see that we've got a black, and actually looks like we've got two gray tanks down there, um, which is cool. It means we have a galley tank. Uh, I've got cable satellite in. If you're going to use portable satellite or something like that, it does have to be wired for that, which we are. And then I've got a city water connection, right? This is where I connect my hose if I've got water at my campsite. And then I've got a black tank flush out right here. Guys, this is something that, you know, now that I have my own camper and it has one of these and I have a clear elbow on it and I can actually see what this thing is doing, this is the black tank flush out is something that you really, really, it's really nice to have, guys, because the black tank is the waste from the commode, okay? And you can imagine over the years, years how challenging it can be to keep that tank clean. Well, a flush out helps to flush it out and keeps it clean, right? Um, around the back side, it's just there's a mount here for a um, camera, a backup camera if you want, and then the water heater is back here, and of course, spare tire, guys. You should never, nobody should ever, ever, ever even try to sell you a trailer that doesn't have a spare tire. If they are, you're at the wrong place, okay? And that's what happens sometimes when you get some of these internet guys um, that are just out there to sell things cheap on the internet and don't care if you ever come back or not. You'd be amazed, like, why don't you have a spare tire? Well, he don't care. So anyway, that's the outside of the Wildwood 26D Bud. Let's go check out the inside. Okay, you guys, inside the Wildwood 26D Bud, we are going to find a lot of those little things that make a difference. And these are things, this is a vehicle that we've had here for, I've been at Byerly for 17 years. We've always had Wildwood. We could have replaced it, but we don't. Why? Because they continue to improve. They continue to incorporate ideas that we've told them. And you're gonna see a lot of that in here. Um, the, like I said, I may have said this or not at this point, but this has essentially replaced the 26 TBSS, which was an incredible floor plan. It was like a bread and butter floor plan. Now the 26 D bud is that so let's take a look we'll start right here at the door that's gonna take a few minutes guys so stick with me there's a lot of cool stuff here um, right in the entryway we have a standard monitor panel with water pump water heater switches light switches in uh, slide out awning controls and then here we have a dimmer switch you guys so this is really really cool and this is one of those examples of what they've incorporated into something even at this price point. So it's nighttime, we're camping, we've got a campfire going outside, and when you walk from the dark outside into here, even one LED light at full strength is enough to ruin your night vision, you know? So by taking these lights and dimming them down really, really low, you can walk in and out and in and out and it doesn't ruin your night vision. It's actually really, really cool, right? Um, before I move past it, I wanna, show this you know they like the inside of their cabinets too which is really nice uh this is really extra pantry space for our kitchen right um you never can have too much pantry space you never can have too much counter space you never can have too much storage space right we've got a really super nice double bowl sink here with a uh, sink cover residential faucet i've got room underneath here for trash cans, okay, which we don't always get. Now this, this is cool, you guys. Like first I was like, wait, there's no drawers. 
that's okay. You know what? There are drawers. They're right here behind this door, all right? So, wow, that's a really nice long drawer, too. So here's the thing. If you've ever had a camper before and you've gotten to your destination and you've opened the door and one of your drawers was on the floor because it came out while you were going down the road, well, guess what? This one's not gonna do that, right? Nice cabinetry on this, you guys. Um, we've got nice stainless steel appliances, as you can see. We've got a stainless steel microwave. This is just the, a really super nice range with, we have an oven light in our oven. So that's something that we didn't get before. Um, fridge, ever chill refrigerator. So this, you know, um, we used to have RV refrigerators. We still do have RV refrigerators. Your RV refrigerator is gas and electric. It is an absorption fridge. It needs to be leveled to work properly. It takes a day to get cold, um, but it is very efficient once it's going, right? And it also takes up a lot of space. So then you start to see residential refrigerators and things, and residential refrigerators are great, but they require regular electricity, which means you need an inverter to run it off of a battery. And let's face it, they were made to be in houses, not campers, right? So here is the Everchill 12 volt, which means it'll run on a battery, compressor driven RV fridge. So compressor driven means that it gets cold quickly and it doesn't need to be level to work properly. Also, this is about the same size as an eight cubic foot RV fridge, but we have a 10.3 cubic foot refrigerator with a much, much bigger freezer. So we've got room for ice and ice cream in the freezer. I love it. Little latch here to keep it closed while we go down the road. Below that, circuit breakers and fuses. You know, we give you full training when you come to Byerly to pick up a camper. So you're here for, you know, a couple hours while you learn everything. Um, this is just even, again, more, I say pantry space, but also I can see this as being like my towels, bedding. There's a lot of places to sleep. We're about to see a lot of places to sleep in this thing. So you need places for things like that as well. But on our way to that, we see our digital wall thermostat. This is gonna control our air conditioner. Our air conditioner is ducted in the ceiling and our furnace is ducted in the floor. This is gonna have the excessive belly underbelly so that you've got a fully enclosed underbelly with hard plastic panels that you can remove, which is really, really cool. And they point a heat duct down there. Uh, the bathroom here, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and walk in because it's big enough. Um, We've got our entry exit to the outside, right? We've got a nice little sink. This is a nice, the mirror is uh, this nice stainless finish which looks cool. And then, you know, so many times, it used to be, if you got a bunkhouse, it had a tub, and if you didn't, it didn't, right? And so many folks were like, I really don't want the tub, um, and they wanted a bigger shower. So here we have a very, very nice, this thing is wide, you guys. Big, big shower, which is just great, and a porcelain foot flush commode. So porcelain's really, really nice. Uh, cleans up better and everything, right? Here we have our double over double bunks. I say that these are adult size bunks with a built-in ladder. There's lights and USBs for everybody. I see an outlet down there on the wall, and then you've got this super bonus area underneath this bunk, okay? So the old 26 TBSS was a triple bunk. Well, the bottom bunk was literally the floor with a mattress on it. So we have basically the same thing here. Somebody could sleep underneath there. There's tons of storage underneath there. The dog might decide to be underneath there, whatever. But that's just a great space to use for whatever you need to, okay? Now we're gonna move over here into our Living area, this is called a Versa lounger and I will demonstrate all of that. It is currently in its configuration where we have a nice large U-shaped dinette and then we have a standard couch over here and all that is gonna be across from our entertainment center. Uh, the Wildwoods don't come with TVs, so we let you get your own on that, so you can get yourself a nice smart TV, hang it up here, and then you can plug it into this Furion sound bar right here. Sound bars, in my opinion, are great. This is what, I mean, if I have a small room at home and I want surround sound, I'm not gonna load it up with like 12 speakers, probably, well I might, I don't know, but you might too. But anyway, if you don't wanna do all that and you just want something that's gonna sound good uh, and uh, create the space you need, that's what a sound bar is for. And that's why we use that, these guys have done great with that. And there's also USB and HDMI plugs right here. I've got all of my uh, antenna and cable in and things like that right here. Um, so this is perfect. I can plug in a gaming system or I can plug in, you know, um, a DVD player or something if I want to. And then directly below that is our fireplace, right? Why do I need a fireplace in here? Well, there's a lot of us that'll carry little electric space heaters, okay? Because if it's not below freezing outside, I don't need to worry about the underbelly being warmed up. So then I can use a space heater because I paid for all the electricity I could use probably, right? It's a built-in space heater. And it looks cool too. And it makes a great nightlight for the folks that might sleep in here on all of the sleeping that we have. So 
Now let's back up here to the Versa Lounger. Before I demonstrate this, I want to show you some cool stuff here. You know, I've talked about how these guys listen to us and how they know how we camp and stuff. Well, here you go. We've got totes, fitted totes here, fitted totes underneath this couch. Okay, right here. Check it out. All right, they know this is how we do this, right? It's like, what else comes with fitted luggage? A Corvette comes with fitted luggage, you know? So this is really, really cool. That's, that's just great. They know what, how we do this. You don't have to go out and measure. You know, a lot of times folks will come in and they'll buy a camper, and between the time they buy it and the time they pick it up, they're measuring to go buy their totes and their this, and well, this comes with it, so you don't have to do that, right? All right, now, let's demonstrate the Versa Lounger. This has three different positions. We have the position that you see now, which is our U-shaped dinette with a standard sofa. I'm gonna convert this into an L-shaped sofa now, okay? So I'm gonna remove this cushion here. I'm gonna pick this up. Oops. I'm gonna flip it around. Push this over a little bit, and it's just actually gonna go right in here, like this. Okay. Oops, I missed. All right, and then I've got this extra little piece right here. This goes right here. This goes right here. And voila. There we go. Got my nice L-shaped sofa across from my entertainment center and there's still plenty of room for somebody to work over here. I mean, this is essentially, with this bench here and this bench here, this is the same amount of space as you would get in a standard booth dinette, right? So we still have that. Now, let's convert this into sleeping, okay? So to do that, I'm just gonna move this. For our purposes, I'm just gonna move it out of our way. I would normally put it kind of underneath there, all right? And I'm gonna pop the table up. Just give these legs a little wiggle. They just come right out. There's a little lip down here. So this, it's gonna go right down on this little lip and slide right in there. And now this is something that you have to actually study to learn how to put these cushions together. Cause the first time I did it, I did not do it right. So let's see, and that goes like that. And this goes. I'm making a mess, guys. Hang on. And do that, and that, and that. There we go. And one more here. And we can grab one more for right here. Wow. And then, okay, so there's one bed, right? Ready? Boom. There's another bed. Check it out, you guys. Um, so this is... I mean, heck, well, I mean, I guess if you're 20 feet tall, we can accommodate. <laughs> but this is really two beds, you guys. Well, you can put heads here, heads there, feet. I don't even know if they touch. You'd have to be pretty tall to get your feet to even touch here. So now we've got the bunks, one, two, three, four, and then the bedroom for sleeping area number five, right? So after all that, we have what I'll call the owner's suite right back in here. We've got a nice little pocket door, okay? And then as we come in here, we have a light switch. I want to point out, you guys, here you go, check this out. More of those fitted totes, okay? And then this also gives us access to the outside storage area. And then on that note right here, while I've got this up, you can see we have a little clothes hamper right here, right? One of the funnest story, funniest stories I have is when I showed that to a customer one time, the guy looks at me and goes, ah, I can put my cooler right there. I said, okay, <laughs> you know, that's cool. Um, but we've also got access here. This is hanging storage but they know we might want to put something down there like a, you know, some of us might have, there's an outlet in here so that if I have a CPAP or something that I need to have plugged in at night, that's what this is absolutely for. Last but not least in here we have, if you're a little guy like me, we have a walk-in closet. Whoop. Anyway, lit, you know, but awesome, awesome closet here. I've got room to hang stuff. I've got room for, this would be a great place to pile all my shoes and stuff so they're not just sitting around. And then of course there is an area here for a TV. There's a plug in up here for the cable for the uh, plug and then a TV backer right there so we know where to put it, right? You guys, and of course a queen bed, you know, storage above. Um, everything in here is so nicely done. Everything looks so good, you guys. I mean, look at this bedroom. It just looks great. The materials they're using, the ceiling panels, just everything, you know. Um, 
I, you know, the Wildwood, when you compare this to everything else in its price range, I think you're going to see the value in all the things that they've done and all the things they've incorporated in. There's just so much to talk about here. Watch it again. <laughs> but anyway, also, again, make sure you check out the rest of the YouTube channel, please. We've got all kinds of great instructive videos. We've got fun videos. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and now TikTok. Check out the new TikTok videos, you guys. We just wanna try and bring you as much material in as many different ways as we can. Um, you can check out www.buyerlyrv.com for more information and for our entire inventory. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.